Hey everybody, welcome back to Truth Be Told. I pray that all is well with your soul. There's so much going on in the world that I just want to open my mouth and declare the goodness of God, the faithfulness of God, that his favor is upon you. I pray today that you are just aware of God's presence in your life, that you are aware that you are the carrier of the presence of the living glory of the living glory of God in your life. Man, if you understood what that meant, <laughs> there would be nothing that would come against you that would rattle you. I pray today that you stand firm on the word of God today for every situation in your life and that you would open your mouth and release the truth of God from your mouth today in spite of your circumstances, in spite of what you feel today, in spite of what's going on in your life. Look up to where your help comes from and remember that God has never left you or forsaken you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So listen, I got a quick message for you. Psalms 512. It says that the favor of God is like a shield that surrounds me. Listen to me very carefully. The favor of God follows me wherever I go. The favor of God is like a shield that surrounds me. It's like a hedge of protection. The word of God is so amazing that if you understood and you walked in the truth of what the word of God says about you, it's about who you are in him and what you can do because of that truth. I pray that you get this because it will change how you respond or how you react to every situation in your life, from big to small. Baby, listen, if you can't handle the little things that are thrown at you every single day, how do you expect to get from level to level, glory to glory, and, and walk in the purpose that God has for you? Because what God has for you is huge. You can't even imagine the blessings that God wants to pour into your life. But because you can't handle the person cutting you off in traffic and you can't handle that coworker that gets on your last nerves or that family member and you keep rolling your eyes. You know I'm talking, you know who I'm talking to, okay? <laughs> if you can't handle that, then how do you expect to handle the things that God has for you? Remember, you're in this world, you're not of it. You are a representative. You are a carrier of the presence of the glory of God. So I pray that you start to get out of the way and let the glory of God shine through you today, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just keeping it real. Because I need to kill myself every single day. <laughs> so I can let the glory of God shine through me. Because let me tell you something. Sometimes I want to get in the way of God, right? I want to put the cart before the horse and it don't work that way. God, I need to be. I need to follow his instructions, his guidance, his truth. And we only find that in the word. So I pray that this message enlightens you. That it uh, puts a fire under your in your belly. And then it gets you moving. I don't care what it is you do, but you put your hand to something today and God will bless it. Because that's what he says. Everything you put your hand to will prosper in Jesus' name. Okay, I love you guys. I am on Restored Road and Believing Boulevard. Where you at? Holla.